For today I've got an interesting build to show off in the new weekly pack. It pretty much focuses on activating one single mammoth as many times as possible. So the build looks very weak but then grows in an instant after your Venus stats. Enjoy! There you go. Tiger will deal us back. Is it? You need two deals now to get two deals so I don't think it's back. Why is the main menu music, music playing? Um. <laughs> Shut up. I don't mind music. Okay, there you go, it stopped. Oh, wait, this is actually different on our side. I know we used to have one. Yeah. So it's, it's probably just the right side because I know. When the enemy has the child's room, you can see the turtle just on this side, so yeah, yeah, there you go. This is the enemy side, left side. Then it just loops right here. Okay, no more music. Damn. Oh, oh man, we had it for one round, and already miss it. I think we can take the gamble to get um, the magpie in front. We already have a weak unit. Attack. Attack. What do you call it? Yeah. Talking about attack will help. Okay, never mind. <laughs> just turn on game is gone? Yes, you can. I think we can just do this. That has always been the game. Oh, Gazelle. We have a magpie on level 1. Yeah, shut up. There you go. Okay, take it. Give me this. Okay, so unfortunately, Swan doesn't really work with Gazelle now. And I don't think too many people realize this, because you, you don't expect it not to work, right? Basically, just if Gazelle has more attack, both of them are start of turn. If Gazelle has more attack, which it already does, it just gets the buff first, and then Swan gives you the extra gold. So it, it always works with Magpie, because the gold is always there, basically. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty sad that it doesn't work with Swan, unless you have higher attack. I don't think that should be the way it works. Okay, let's see. Like buys many fabricated pivoting in later rounds. Yep, that's nice. Bit of a fake swan. Doesn't actually give you extra money, it just carries it over, but still. Sure, take it. Damn, that's pretty lucky. Okay, I guess you should be right here. You right here. All my swans concerns the whole day. Yep. They do need a big story and this is okay. Uh, yeah, that's okay, but it's just a combo that you would expect to work that doesn't so. Mm. It's also very 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 sad when you observe it. But yeah, I guess it's fine now. We got this one first. Because we got cross on. Let's see, you first, turtle. Okay, I guess we're only gonna keep one gold. Yep, looks good. I guess we can even pill the turtles, but nah, no reason to. You never know which unit we're gonna give it up. Okay, so far so good. Not really, but. I don't think we're gonna lose too much from now on. Go plus four plus four from the extra two gold. Take as well. There you go. Pineapple. And we just end like this. It's pretty pretty gold efficient shopping phase. This one could be changed to end of turn. Only benefit as well. Yeah. It would be a nice change. But then again, Gazelle is a bit busted. A bit. 
I think the fix would be, I don't think they should nullify its ability, because otherwise, like, I don't know. I think the only way they could nullify its ability would be gain, wait, what is that? Gain plus one attack or plus one HP for each extra gold. And I think that would make it too weak. It would just make its ability like cut in half, basically, in terms of power. I think the fix for Gazelle being as strong as it is now is making its default stats um, weaker, maybe one, two. Just to compensate for uh, how easy it is to get a huge one like this. Let's see, anything else? Oh, I guess we're just gonna roll Squirrel. Nope, not too interesting. Woodpecker would be nice, but doesn't really have room in our team. I guess we can try to keep going for um for this. We don't have enough wins, so we're gonna get into late game rounds. Gazelle is fine. Mm, pretty balanced. I think it's a bit too strong. I think a minus one one would make it okay. It's like it would just be nine ten. It wouldn't be the world's biggest deal. I, I think it's just a bit too strong. If you play an actual gold build and you have like fifteen extra gold, like to be fair, you don't really want to keep a gazelle, but still, it's a very easy way to just get a fifty fifty unit that can just win you the win you around single handedly. But yeah, you'll see. When uh, when actual gold builds are going to be popping off in weekly packs, then uh, you'll see how Gazelle just grows with no limits. Need to make a decision. Do we want to keep going for the build that's going to get us killed? If yeah. we did get close, and I think we got to 10 wins once with, with the combo. Let me see. I like it, but... It's... Wait, we've got music again. Hmm. I like the combo, but what deters me from wanting to keep chasing it is the fact that it has three different tier sixes that it needs, and all of them have to be like level two as well. And then you need melons for them, so they don't get sniped. So you need a lot of stuff. Okay, sorry, Vile. Monkey, good unit. No, thank you. Magpies. No, I mean. <laughs> okay, I should probably turn off music. Oh, there you go, it's gone, never mind. Okay, no. no that's a bad thing for round 7. Okay. Okay, that guy had one less HP than us, though. We had 3 HP and 3 wins, they had uh, 3 wins and 2 HP. Donkey. Donkey's a good unit as well. Take. Keep. Roll. Level 2, finally, there's a rooster. I guess we could have frozen it. We don't really want a rooster in our own team, because it just needs to be in the shop and then swallow it. There's so many bad teams now. <laughs> well, I think we have to enjoy it while it lasts, because eventually we're gonna... Well, I think it's gonna take a long time for us to be in a stale meta again, but still. Catfish, Pascal. Activate the buy ability on the neatest friend ahead. So we can't... Like, I love Catfish plus Cow. Honestly, I really do. But... That's just all there is to it. Catfish plus Cow. Just Catfish, Cow. And you, you, like, you can't do anything too interesting with it. Like, you get a level 1 Catfish, you get a level 1 Cow. And that's about it. You level up the Cow, you just get milk that gives you higher numbers on screen. That's about it. Not even level 2 catfish would do anything, because it just activates Cow twice and that doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the mammoth you always wanted. You can still go for the whale, I suppose, we've only skipped out on one. There's the white whale, there's the turkey. Stuck between builds again. Hmm. White whale with a... Okay, screw it. We'll, we'll try and mammoth whale, pteranodon tiger. We've got the turtle to, to get the melons quickly. Yep. Who wants to bend the kill to goldie winning? Well, okay. 
I guess we're gonna do that after this. Haven't done them in a while. Okay. Only six wins, we've got time. We can lose as well. I guess we'll keep the chocolate. Let's see if we can get a regular whale. And then we'll level that one up. And actually, no, let's level this guy up. You goodbye, you're welcome. A regular whale. Okay, 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 okay. Not bad. Hmm. Snipes. Not amazing, but... I think we've got enough stats to just push through these summons, okay. Maybe these are to gamble instead of using my carrots. <laughs> but if otherwise... Okay, let's just... Okay, let's see if we can find the pill. Okay, okay, let's just get these guys. Okay, so this one. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if we would have a Pteranodon here. They die at the same time, but would a Pteranodon activate this guy? Nice, absolutely. Take it, one more mammoth. Oh god, too many mammoths, we need Pteranodons now. Well, let's see what happens. I'm fine with losing once to find out what happens with this. Okay, similar team. Finally, good snipe. Okay, so mammoth went first. Oh, never mind, doesn't really matter. There you go, we get them back. Okay, so they spawn back in the same order that they were swallowed in, so I guess we can sw Oh my god, actually, I guess we should do this. Yeah. This is kind of a waste, but... Oh, nice, there you go. Hmm... Okay, we definitely want level 2 Pteranodon. So I suppose the higher attack faint should always go first, right? Oh man. I can do it, we can still lose once. Roll. More turtles. Okay. Let's see. You, please activate the uh, mammoth. Okay, nice. The stats are there, but not quite enough to defeat the gold gold. Okay, wait. You need to be level 2. Oh. Okay, you go. This should be it, right? We activate Pteranodon twice with this tiger. Okay. We just pray that we don't get sniped, that turtle was really meant to be pilled to protect these guys, but... Okay, please, no snipes. Let me at least see my build in action. I've got one HP as well. Okay, no snipes, no snipes, no snipes, but this looks like a good team. Oh, okay, the stats. <laughs> okay, I like it. We really just need the melons now to make sure that these units don't die. Yep. I guess. There's the pill for the turtle. That's not in our team anymore. Please, just at, at least one more. Okay, popcorn. We can at least use popcorn to get one more unit. Sure. Okay, one melon, one popcorn for this next fight. Please, no snipes. We're still vulnerable. Okay. That's gonna be annoying though. Okay. We've got a melon as well. Hopefully that makes a difference. And it should. Wow. Okay. Yes, thank you very much. You take this. This tiger is really important. 
And unfortunately, these Pteranodons don't really do much, but... Cupcake can give it to this guy. Maybe doesn't die to a random blank snipe. Mm. Hmm. I guess it's gonna have to be the plus one HP, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. Snake. Okay, we got we got all the stats. Let's go. Whew. Escape the snake snipes. Let's go. Well, yep. All we needed was just a bit of luck with these man, and there you go. Terrible starting stats, but the final, <laughs> the final product, good enough. Okay, we'll take it. I guess uh, mission accomplished. I really didn't think we could uh, could do, get this built, but this going on YouTube probably. Hello YouTube, I guess. And Rasta hat. Nice. We get. But yeah, please say we don't have the option to use the pill. I guess we can just wait another round, take another L, go down to 1 HP to just. If we get sniped. Okay, Mammoth. No pressure. Isn't that change only for random? I don't think so. I, I will check the patch notes after this though. Please? Is that enough to kill my thingy? No, it's not. Okay, go fast. There you go. Level 2. That's a lot of stats though. No. Damn. Take this. Whale can't use it. Some mammals would be amazing to not. Hmm. I guess we do this. That's our only option. We can combine Pteranodons. We're gonna be left with only four units. But the question is do we do this or this? This only activates once. Okay, wait. We can check this. This tiger spawned two units now. Does, does it make Will spit out two mammoths? I don't think it does, right? Yeah, okay, so this doesn't really do too much. It might make, might make whales swallow two units, but we've got no use for that. So I suppose we should maybe just go for this, so we, yeah. This just makes the Pteranodon, like, we get stats quicker, basically. So, I guess. Unfortunately, these Pteranodons use that single charge on the level 1 mammoth. It would have been really nice to have, like, at least one single level 2 Pteranodon to then reactivate the level 2 that we get from the wild as well. <laughs> okay. Well definitely lose to a single level one links but i guess we can hope um level three links no level two this guy's team is terrible as well well at least this okay i guess let's just damn if only we would have gotten that pill man for the level two turtle there you go. Get some good stuff right away. Popcorn. I guess we could use popcorn on a mammoth. Char. The snake behind us would be incredible. I guess we don't really care about... Ooh. Okay. Okay. Wait. I'd like to lose once, but to be fair, I don't think this team is too strong anyway. Like, this Moscox only gets one charge now. It would have been cool if, uh, if Whale would swallow the popcorn, you know? Okay, there you go. 8 V, 8 V. Forget to check these, but okay. Well, we'll take them. Another tiger. You can go. Turn on them. Okay. 
Okay, so do we go Tiger Whale or Tiger Pteranodon? Okay, so what this does is... Oh, we can't check. I think it still spits out two mammoths, right? And then it also activates an, the mammoth that's going to be right here. If we do this, it just activates this guy again. So I think we should just go like this. Because we get two mammoths, and then we activate a mammoth anyway. But this would activate the level 2 mammoth again. Okay, good enough stats. Stuff doesn't die right away, there you go. Perfect snipes, unfortunately. Well, that worked, that worked. Level 2 tiger. Mmm, cupcake for you so you don't get sniped, I suppose. Okay, and one or turn another in the back would be interesting. Oh man. Oh, not the actual teams. Oh man, a tiger snake and even one more snake in the back. Okay, at least we can still lose ones. God damn it. Keep this. Level 2 Pteranodon would be nice. Okay, let's just use this. Should have used it right away to make way for another chocolate. Other whale. Mm. I guess. Still have that left three mosquito in our team. Okay, don't snipe me and please no 50 50 even it. Okay, okay, okay. Mosquito didn't really do much. It's just big stats for us basically. Okay. Would have been nice if this was level 2. Would have activated that again. Oh, there you go. That's a good win with this build, I suppose. At least proof of concept. We did get a decent amount of stats. Keep in mind that these two start with really trash stats to begin with, right? Okay, I guess we just need like level 2. And this would have been um, very nice already. Another Pteranodo in the back, maybe. Just need to get lucky enough to get them. Most like... We need three different tier sixes, all of them to like at least level two, so it's definitely um, not an easy build to get. We need to get lucky. And. Oh my god, nice. 